Hello everyone and one and all and uh, sports entertainment fans and you know them guys. Well, yeah. welcome back to Dumb Wrestling. Arena. And here we are once again in Hartford, Connecticut. Oh boy. This yeah. is our hometown well, around the hometown. Yep. And we have some high intensity matches, or so we hope. So we hope. Because we've got the announcement that, you know, the the commission has stated that next week will be yet another super show. That apparently he hasn't figured out the name for yet. Yep, so we can't rightly promote it, though we can say that there's a super show next week. Yep, and so we have to figure out, and quick, we have to figure out who the number one contenders are for a few belts. So that's what our first match here today is going to be. Yeah. To decide the number one contender for the Funtime Friendship Championships, it'll be... Big the Froggy. Big the Froggy, or Frog the Cat. <laughs> And you know, the jovial duo. I mean, look at that. Yo, you, yo when you think of fr uh, fun times and friendship... I think of frog's legs. Yo. <laughs> I mean, they're a delicacy in some countries. But, yeah, we have to figure out, you know, who's going to be the number one contenders for a few belts. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yep. I mean, we've kind of thrown all, all of our uh, eggs in a basket... Last couple weeks trying to figure out who the number one contender for the world title is going to be. And then we're just going to throw the basket off a cliff. With uh, Big the Cat and Froggy <laughs> at the helm. <laughs> and they are going to face none other than the, that guy. There he is, Eric James. Genuine Eric James teaming up once again with Jif the Vegan. Two well-known friends and, you know, they're going to... So they have some fun times. Yep. They didn't have very much of a fun time in the number one contenders tournament after they both lost to Billy. Yeah. Well, you know, once you lose to Billy, that's it, it's over. That's it, it's over. Your career's done. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> but, genuine Eric James never won to back down from a challenge. A tenacious competitor. He never won to back down from... Shaving his chest. <laughs> Now, that would mean that he would always shave his chest. Yeah, well, okay, fair enough. Yo, I know words. Always wanted to back down from body wax. Yup. Yo, he saw that, he's like, no body wax for me. <laughs> Genuine no body wax James. He's lounging it up on the ring here. He's, he's got... Get, hurry up and get in there. He's got some severe moose knuckle going on. <laughs> oh, I mean... Or so it seems... But, Moose Knuckle or not, a very talented competitor, very tenacious... Uh, also a very talented YouTuber. Not Eric, Moose Knuckle. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> Shoutouts to you, Moo. Anyway. And his partner, like we said, is... The Gluten-Free Gladiator. <laughs> As the lights go out, and Yo Beef in the background. And we find the light switch... There, there it is. is. There he is, Jeff the Vegan. It's Jeff the Vegan with his earthly clothes. His bluegrass shirt that's not blue. That's not blue. And his dirt pants. And his... He's been spending too much time in Minecraft. His prominent beard and his glasses and his wristbands. His renegade wristbands. Yo, the, the gluten-free gladiator, the... Plant based. That belt looks weird. It looks like it has two buckles. Yo, mate. Yo, he, he has two buckles because it's always time for belting. <laughs> it's always time for buckling. But. And you know the best thing is? He can count! <laughs> One, two, three, yay! <laughs> he can count! He can fight! That he can. He'll be fighting alongside his friend Eric to fight the frog and the cat. Yup. Sounds like a kid's book. <laughs> the the gluten-free gladiator, the plant-based predator, predator pugilist, pe yeah, <laughs> the plantomancer. It's a great class and stick it there, uh, fracture butthole. Nice. And looks to be uh, Froggy and Eric starting out this match. There's, there's the, bell. the bell. Straight right hand. Countered with a back strike. Oh, he goes for a knee. 
Oh, Eric, how, Eric going after the leg immediately. Oh, he's going after the leg. He knows what he needs to go for. Eric went to, actually went to school for culinary. So, uh. He should know how valuable them legs are. Exactly. Oh, look at the strength of Eric. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh big over. drop. A big suplex there. Brings it back up to his feet. Oh, a big right hand. Oh, Froggy countered with a forearm. Froggy saw it coming. Now he's, oh, there's a. Whoa. Oh, wow. What that was a very interesting maneuver. Dropping Eric on, on the back of his neck. And Making then, a tag to Big. And there's an early tag. Are we going to see the same situation like last week where one team's competitor is going to take all the beatings? It's a very, it's a very good possibility. I mean, Eric J Eric James, like we, like I've said several times, a, teen, a, a, a tenacious competitor, but he's in the ring with he's Big the Cat. a team competitor. That he is. Oh, he took down Big the Cat with relative ease. And Big has still got fight in him. That cat course. still got some pep in his step. Because it just started, and, you know. Oh, oh what a big boot thing. He just mushed him in the face and pushed him down. Froggy hyping up the crowd. Oh, there's, there's another tag. There's another That's tag. Froggy. There's a double team attack. Oh, oh, oh. and a double back elbow. Froggy oh, not Eric's tapping. crawling over. He gets the tag. Tag to Jeff. Jeff is back in it. Oh, oh no! Oh, flying forearm. This, and there's this. another one. Oh, did he cut this? He might. Oh, oh. oh, Froggy counters. Oh, Froggy Good. caught him beforehand. Back and forth action here. Oh, what's Ooh. Froggy doing? Oh, oh big, big suplex. Tucking under heart, underarm suplex. Thing. I was gonna go for like a pedigree or something. Maybe. Oh. Jeff counter. Oh, and oh, Jeff goodness. with a running clothesline. To the second rope goes Jeff. And there's Eric. He's back. He was apparently down on the floor. And, oh, oh, Jeff oh. went for a double axe handle. Up. Oh, he breaks the arm. The frog arms worth anything? I don't think so. And Jeff with the strikes, but Froggy countered. Big belly to belly. Back to his, to his feet. Oh, going for another big suplex. Froggy on a roll here. It would mean a lot to both teams to become the number one contender to those uh, fun time friendship championships. Froggy is Froggy just standing, standing outside the ring. And if you notice, head referee George George not counting, the commissioner has made this match no count out. He's made a lot of these matches no count outs. Because, you know, it's dumb wrestling. You know? Some of our wrestlers don't have the highest of intelligence. Yeah, and or count the... out victories are, aren't very exciting. Yeah. Or, you know, like we've had, we have old so maybe some are hard of hearing. Yeah, <laughs> also that. Oh, well, Froggy. Jeff has some life signs left in him. He's a, bringing the fight to Froggy. Puts on the top rope and. Oh, a swing neck breaker. Froggy not looking too good right now. Being dragged back towards the middle of the ring. Oh. Nope, there's an uppercut. Left-handed uppercut. But Jeff counters right back with an arm. And there's, there's a, ta a tag. There's a tag. And then... Oh, he's got Eric! Oh my goodness! He just tossed Eric! He threw him! That poor Froggy. And now Eric stops Froggy from making the lunging tag. Yep, I think like... Oh. Oh, now he wants him to get oh, up. Things aren't looking too good for Froggy here. I find here we go! Oh, oh what a, what a, a huge drop kick! A big springboard drop kick! He makes the tag! Here comes Big! Oh, he misses. He, he missed it! It's a couple strikes in there. Off the ropes. Oh, Eric, swing, neckbreaker! Oh. Now the Eric team is now in control. Genuine vegan. <laughs> Big still has the strength to fight out of that camel clutch! And oh, he goes for big boot thing. Oh. oh, what a nice counter there by Big. Just when you think Eric is in the control seat, Big says, not the case. But Froggy's still down on the outside. I could barely see him. He kind of blended in with the steps <laughs> there. Oh, that was a big thing. Just lunging at Big with the Huracarana. Froggy's slowly making it back to his feet. Makes a big turnaround punch at the air. Russian leg sweep takedown. Froggy is back on this corner. Nope. I feel like... 
Uh, oh, there's oh, the that big was a boot. Huge boot. The big boot. I feel like. It's because he's called Big the Cat. I get it. Uh, uh, I feel like uh, tag team wrestling here in Dumb Wrestling has really been kicked up a notch, especially over the past couple weeks, ever since that huge six man tag main event we had. Or maybe it should be the big paw or the big sandal. Oh. Big oh, he's, he's the out. top oh, rope! Oh my yes. god! Oh, he misses clean! And Eric just stand. Oh, Eric with the diamond cutter! Oh my god! There's the, the cover! First cover of the one, next one! Two! Ooh, two count. I thought that might have been it, because obviously missing that moonsault, Big is a very hefty individual. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Eric makes the tag to Jeff. And he landed on that mat with a huge crash. And Eric, or Jeff, went to the apron, threw a couple punches at the air, <laughs> and then punch, oh, pu punches Big right in the back oh, of the... That backwards neck breaker thing. Some big chops. Big fighting him off. Scooping up Jeff. Oh, he's scooping him up. Brings him over to the ropes. Oh, and oh. drops him. Like, right throat first. Top rope. A very widely used move here in dumb wrestling. Very common move. And Make there's the tag. The tag. Off the ropes. Here. Oh, oh, wow. A double back body drop. And Eric looking for the tag. He makes it. Eric back in. I think Froggy was a. Oh, Froggy answers back with a big four. I think Froggy might have been going. Might have been going for a big finish there, but uh, Jeff made the tag instead. And Eric makes the catch. Atomic drop. Nice atomic drop and a chop block. Once again, going, going after, after the legs. After the legs. Scooping up Froggy. Looks like a JVT. It is. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, he nails it. Head first goes Froggy. See, he still finds the energy to counter. And Eric still has the energy to counter Froggy. Back and forth action here in the opening match here at Dumb Wrestling. Throws him to the corner. Oh, Froggy counters it. For a, a rake of the eye or a rake of the whole body. because Counters Froggy. left and right. Oh. Goes for that fancy back move. And, and gets to a pin. One. A pin. One, two. Ooh. 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 And Eric kicking out with authority, sending Froggy reeling backwards. Get it? Reeling? He's fishing? God damn it. <laughs> He's got him in a, a big cross-legged lock thing. And he stepped on the back of his calves. Oh, for a scoop slam. Eric pushes him away. Under the head and clothesline. Froggy spraying to the ap ap apron once again. Calling Eric's rise. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Spring oh. spear through the, through uh, the ropes from the apron. Froggy, he always feeling it. Froggy's he is, living it up. He is feel. Oh, is he feeling Froggy? We'll never know, cause Eric cr crawling. Oh, and he he sees it coming. Thought he was going for the tag. I really thought he was gonna go for that tag. Well, Froggy countered. That spinning backdrop thing. A big oh, forearm. forearm. A big chop. Kick to the midsection. Big oh. sit down face buster thing. Oh, Froggy gonna go for a cover. That's one. One. Two. two. Jeff breaks oh. it up. And I think and he marks out the ref in the process. <laughs> oh, and then he eats that backside thing. But Jeff spring. Jeff completely no selling it. <laughs> Oh. Still has the energy to move. I think Froggy was telling the ref to get up. Oh, oh. my god, what a big cross body. To Eric, not the ref. Oh, Eric's still got some fight in it. Eric has still got some fight. Oh, he's getting a little caught up on the ropes there. Froggy was trying for a neck breaker. Oh. Eric scoops him up. JVT! No! Oh, there it is. Just compressing the neck. The ref is back up. Froggy landing with a crash. Eric so brings him to a knee. Went for a chop. Froggy rolled out of it. Oh my goodness. What a move by Froggy. With a flourish. He's springing back to the apron again. 
Back to the apron. And like, if here's big is in the way of the move he wants to do. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> is he gonna go for that springboard spear again? And he's just standing there. He's just standing there. While Eric slowly rises to his feet. And Froggy makes his way back in. Oh. And goes for the back thing again. There's the, the cover. Pin. One. One. Two. two. And a two count. And now B Big's got Jeff. Oh. oh, what a slam on Jeff. Things not looking too good for the team of genuine Eric James and Jeff the Vegan. Froggy's making... The oh, there it there is! There's another inside rope spear or whatever. And there's the cover. Big one. one. Big going after and Jeff. Jeff immediately coming to break it up. Oh, big the cat's down. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see Jeff knock him down. Jeff oh, is going. showing to be very strong in this match tonight. The big back suplex from Eric to Froggy. Eric should look about tagging his partner in soon. Been a while. Oh, a little bit of a <laughs> flip with the hair, <laughs> flipping the hair, whatever. Flipping the hair. Oh, there's a diamond cutter. Oh, there it is. And there's the cover on Froggy. One, One, two. two. Oh. Here it comes Jeff in, in. Oh, I think they were gonna go for a, a double team. Jeff a little late there on the grab. Oh, wait. Oh, uh oh. Eric with the wrist leg sweep to big, and now he's. And the, oh, big oh, is down. Diamond cutter. There's oh, go big for the cut. He can't come in to save his friend. One, two, two three. three. There it is. And your winner is Eric James and Jeff the Vegan. And that means genuine Eric James and Jeff the Vegan going on to the unnamed Super Show next week to challenge Veg the Barbarian and the Masked Marble. For the fun time friendship championship. That is going to be one hell of a match. You might even say those four know each other very well. Little uh undisclosed history perhaps between these two teams. Hmm. And what do, what do, what does this mean for the future of Big the Cat and Froggy? They can't be too happy about this. Hello once again everyone and welcome back to the Dumb Wrestling Arena here in Baghdad, Iraq. And here we have another match, because like, we just came off a match to determine the number one contendership for the Funtime Friendship Championships. And now we have a match between two bickering former tag team partners. Yep, and this is scheduled to be a no-holds-barred match. To settle their differences, it's been announced uh, by the commissioner that Clambofiend and Bag Boy Senpai are the number one contenders for the Intercosbinental and the Minimum Wage Championships, respectively. But in the case of Clambo Fiend, th there's a rumbling going around backstage that this could be the end of the line for the resident hype man of dumb wrestling. If he doesn't start showing some, like, serious stuff, he might find himself on the bench for a while. It's like... The higher ups at dumb wrestling see great potential in this man, but he but hasn't been living up to it. Yeah, as of late. I mean, he's got the look. He's got a great physique. He's got that <laughs> shirt. He's got that shirt. And here comes Bag Boy Senpai, the the, the primest of Bag Boy material. Now it's a, like I just mentioned. He's been named the number one contender to the minimum wage championship because. Technically, he never got his rematch after losing the belt to Sands. Yes, and he's definitely not looking his hype and cheerful self. He is straightforward. I mean, very stoic. The Ryu of dumb wrestling. Stupid. <laughs> Clamofin adjusting his pants. And there's the bell. There's the bell. Here we go. Starting off with a kick to the gut for Clamo Fiend. And I, oh god, a huge DDT. Into a DDT. That's... Oh, he's out of the ring. That is what we would call a combo. Yup. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Clambo's going He's up. got a sledgehammer. He's got a sledgehammer. And he went, he, he went right for Bad Boy Senpai's head. And Bad Boy immediately slapped it out of his hands. Oh, a kick to the ribs! Fighting outside of the barricades. This is what No Holds Barred is all about. Oh, oh my that was God. a huge boot! Big old kick to his head. 
No, no disqualifications. No countouts. No holds barred here in Dumb Wrestling. This is the drop kick. Throws him into the steps. Oh, oh my goodness! Both of these men just. This is savage. <laughs> Both of these men must have some seriously bad blood with each other. I mean, oh god. Just throwing each other. Oh, and a DDT onto the right chocolate. Onto the chocolate. <laughs> I still love the fact that we have chocolate bars on our floor. I mean, like, why? I mean, why not? Oh god, he just threw him right into the apron. Right into the apron. What oh, kick to the shins. Oh, oh that's my god! A sweet neck, neck breaker on the floor! Right down to the chocolate! This that is a, looked incredible. This is not the the candy aisle, folks! <laughs> this is not aisle four! This is not aisle ten either! Shout out to you, Allison! Yo, it's a good song. <laughs> oh, Clambofine has got, got Bag Boy Sampar, puts him on the ropes. What's it gonna do here? Oh. Oh, looks like a. Oh, I, off the top rope into, into a, a back into a huge backbreaker. And with nonchalantly just s sitting at the corner. When this match was made, no holds barred. I, like honestly, I didn't have high expectations from it, but these two men just going at it, you know, guns blazing. Oh, I'm kick big to kick the, to the back. He's backed up to his feet. Scoops him up. Over to the corner. Oh, into the, the ropes. Off the top rope. Very common move here in dumb wrestling. Oh, and another kick to the back. I didn't I didn't real I didn't realize that these two were so angry at each other. I didn't either. They seem to work so well together. Yeah, and now like now look like Oh my god, that's oh, a that's a choke. Him. While hanging upside down. And a very Bagboyfiend taking advantage of the no disqualifications rule. Oh, thought he was going to go for another scoop slam. Bagboy Senpai countered it into a big back suplex. And just, just clubbing him in the Throwing the hands. To the ropes. What's he going to do here? Oh, oh they're just, just going to collide with each, each other. other. Front face lock. What's Bagboy Senpai going to do here? He's just holding just him. wiggling him around. Kick, chop. And another front face lock. What's he going to do? Oh, and oh. I think that was a knee strike. Snapmare takedown. No, oh, he's got his head. Oh, Clamofing turns him over and then pop him right back out of his butt. That's, that's, Big right that's hand. a straight right. Go for a belly to belly suplex. Bad boy sent by countered. He claps the ears. He's going to the, the, the second, second rope. rope. He, he's kicking him. Kicking him away. Because he's too close. He's, he's too close. <laughs> <laughs> he's just kicking him away. And then, oh, there it is. Oh, the big front drop kick. Bad Boy Senpai waited a million years for that opening. Clambo could have done anything else. Oh, and there's a neck breaker. Oh, he's got the face. Oh, he's got it by the cheeks. Oh, God. Now, Bad Boy taking advantage of notice qualifications here. This is a, a surprisingly back and forth brutal contest. This is definitely a brutal match. Kick to the midsection. Oh, oh right on the knee. Oh, big face break. Oh, and ba Bad Boy Senpai is He's, down and out. He seems to have knocked himself out. Knocked the wind out of him with that backdrop. And Clambo Fiend is to is to his feet first. And now he is in control. Oh, never mind. Big elbow to the knee. Big hip toss. Big hip toss. He's, he's, he's got a look in his eyes. $29.99, perhaps season pass. <laughs> season one. Oh, no. Oh, Bagboy Senpai countered it. Bagboy Senpai is not using his hard-earned money for that pass. He he's, doesn't need the, the extra cosmetics. As the, as the sledgehammer, just it's just sitting there just ominously. He is perfectly content oh, with what he bought. A drop kick to the knee. Snapmare takedown by Clambo Fiend. Now he goes in the triangle. Ch oh, God. Oh, his elbow is right to the head. Right oh, to the goodness. forehead. Oh, there's, a, oh, there's a cutthroat. Going for a big fist drop. Oh, he misses. Cl oh. And he, oh, God, just punches the mat. Bagway with an uppercut. Oh, oh. and back drops him to the apron. Went for a right hand. Bagway sent by countered. Right back into the Running ring. Follow up. D 
just doesn't get the, the punch coming in. Punched a little too early there. Good chop, chop. Kick. <laughs> it's all in the mind. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's catching these hands right now. Oh, and a huge neck breaker. Clambofin just goes flailing backwards. Goes to the corner. Goes to the top rope. To what's the he, top rope. What's he going to do? High risk maneuver. The f Yo, five <laughs> finger discount. Oh, my God. On the top rope. High risk five finger discount. That was huge! There's the cover! The ref, come on! One! One two! two. Oh, oh my god! Two and three quarters! That was so incredible! I have heard rumblings of this m legendary move that Bag Boy Senpai has called the five finger discount, but from the top rope? I've never seen him do it from that high up before! And Clambofin kicked out of it! The man still has heart, if anything else. Oh. oh, there's a swinging neck breaker by Clambo Fiend. Oh, he's got the hook in his eye again. He's, he's got the dollar bill sign, the dollar signs in his eyes. Season pass. Here he comes. Oh, oh God. God. Hitting him with the micro Twelve months worth of damage. One, two, three. There it is. He couldn't resist the season pass for long. It always gets you in the end. Clambo Fiend, surprisingly... I mean, I don't mean that as an insult, but surprisingly picking up the victory here today. Things might actually be looking up up for him for a change. But that's one hurdle out of the way. He has to face Mike Ross next week with the lights bright and the title on the line. Mr. Fourth Place. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wrestling Arena here in Detroit, Michigan. And we have a real drooly puncher for you today. <laughs> God damn it. It'll be the another number one contenders match to determine the number one contender to the Dumb Wrestling Women's World Championship. Who will face Jules Valencia next week for the title at the still unnamed Super Show? Yeah. And will Boxy Brown come back to win it a second time and be our first, like... Re winner, the first one in dumb wrestling history because I don't think anyone has won a belt twice. Or will it be a new gal? It could be Jenny Krieg, it could be Madame Luxuriant, or it could be Miami Shikata. The ever energetic, the real spunk fest, the princess of pink, as she calls herself. I'm still questioning myself calling her the Spunk Fest. That doesn't sound <laughs> that right. That really does That does not right. sound right. Boxy's living it up in La Vida Loca there. She's black. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So it's a fatal four-way. <coughs> One fall to a finish. But, the, again, there's, there's no disqualification. Here comes the psycho herself, Jenny Krieg. The very intense Jenny Krieg. Ever the imposing force in the, the dumb wrestling women's division. And ever the unpredictable one. With her gas mask. What emotions lie beneath that gas mask? Neat. Uh, the best emotion. <laughs> Neat. Well, the, cr the crowd seems to like what they see. At least a little bit. And no one's seen her actual face yet. But I'm not sure if, if I'm not sure if uh, anybody wants to. Not trying to call her ugly. I mean that in, with all due <laughs> respect. Because we don't need no we don't need no trouble here up in the skybox. The people who wear masks always have the most to hide. I guess maybe or, that's the saying. Or so the legend says handed down from generation to generation <laughs> at least for the last six years. I mean, we should probably ask, ask the Marvel about that. Has anyone ever heard the Marvel speak? <laughs> Not in a while. <clears throat> but there, unless he's adventuring with his party. But there she is, Jenny Krieg. A real powerhouse. A force to behold. A real ripped woman. That, that she is. And she's a whole lot of women. Speaking of a whole lot of women, here is the thickest of the competitors. The she's down with the thickness. 
Oh, God damn it. Madame Luxuriant. The ever, ever dangerous, ever sultry Madame Luxuriant. Thick thighs and lives. And hailing from some fancy pompous shitlord town somewhere. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> With all due respect. With all due respect, a shitlord town. <laughs> Madame Luxuriant debuting last week with a very convincing victory against the hyperactive Princess of Pink. Now let's hope she can keep that energetic or energy for this match. She, she has more than one person to deal with. She needs to watch her step. I keep thinking she's gonna trip on her uh her cape there. Yeah. It's like wrapping around her leg. Please don't trip. We can't. We don't have an injury attorney. <laughs> we don't have health insurance. Don't tell them that. <clears throat> anyway, and our final competitor, the <clears throat> the ever ex 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 yeah. the ever energetic Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi making her way to the ring as her smoke goes off. Although that could just be a, a fire hazard here in the warehouse. <laughs> Maybe. All right, it, could, it could be dry ice. But look at that. She has a big smile on her face. She is ready to compete. She is ready and ready to go. The crowd seems to like what they see. Especially that guy over there. Yep. But like Hello, this, that guy. Hello, ooh, feisty. <laughs> But this ought to be one heck of a match, Joe. This is a fatal four-way extreme rules match featuring some of the best female talent that we could find somehow. The best and the newest. Young, ready to go. And there's George George calling for the bell. Here we go. And immediately splitting off into two brutal one-on-ones between Madame Luxurian and Boxy Brown and Jenny Krieg and Miyu Shikaida. Is that how you say your name? Miami. Miami. <coughs> Box is bringing Madam to the corner. Miami has Jenny on the floor. And there's Boxy throwing Madam Luxurian into the turn or the ring post. A big power bomb there from uh, Boxy Brown. Miami and Jenny going back and forth. With back and forth counters. There's another one. There's four in a row. There's, there's oh another my, one. Oh my god! Back and forth, and one that, after another. And there, I think, I think Jenny Cree got the better of this. Oh my oh. god! She just did it right on the corner turnbuckles. Miami is now on the floor on the outside. Now, like this is. Oh my! Oh my goodness! There was a clothesline behind a clothesline. <laughs> the sheer power. Oh, there's. Uh oh, yeah, can, can we very salty. Can we can we show this? Isn't this allowed? On the oh, one, God. two. And we can't show that either. These brutal pummelings of the face behind the barricade. Now this is extreme. This is not falls count anywhere. Pinfalls and submissions will only be counted in the ring. So they should count on, count on doing the damage outside and bring it back in to finish the deal. Oh, and there's the psycho elbow. Jenny going ballistic. One would think, I mean, one could think that uh, Boxy Brown is the favorite, given she is a former women's champion <laughs> and a big elbow. Didn't know what she was going to do after that little jive she did. Oh, she tackles Jenny and pounds the face. Oh, and, uh, and uh, y'all learn her name one of these days. <laughs> Throwing Madame Luxury into the ring post. Miami. Miami. Boxy throws Miami back into the ring. Jenny and, and Madam are There's the outside. first cover There's of the, the match. Cover. One. 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 Solid one. <laughs> Kick to the poor dazed face of Miami. And there's Boxy on the apron. I think she was getting ready to do some kind of springboard maneuver. And Jenny and Boxy going at it like old times. Madam and Miami going at it like A rematch last from last week. week. See if Miami, Miami can possibly fight back a little bit more this time. Yeah, I mean, like one could think that she's ready for some revenge. There's a cover. There's a cover. One. One. Not one. 
Exerting some energy, energy there to kick out. Oh, double leg takedown, just like that. Makes her way outside. What's she gonna do? The side of the ring that she got out on, there's and no weapons Foxy under there. throws her to the other side. Oh, and there's a double axe handle drop thing, whatever. Attacking the leg, and now leaves her to go find somebody oh, else. And a big bulldog from Madame Luxuriant to Jenny Krieg on the floor. Reversal. Back suplex. Back suplex. Madame Luxuriant showing the power. Showing the power of the thickness. He's got him by the, by the throat. Looking for that choke slam. Foxy did not have any of that. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Just threw her. Dragged her down. Right. And Foxy <laughs> continues to throw away how he does. Man, she cannot get a break. Just can't she? The, the poor princess of pink can't, can't catch a break. Jenny Creek throwing Madame Luxury back into the ring. Oh, Jenny Creek. Now Perch there in the corner. Me back into the ring. Spear! There's a spear! It's spit everywhere, sorry. <laughs> Nami has Boxy over the ropes now. And Nami was there countering whatever Jenny Krieg was going to do. Oh. Sunset flip by Boxy! There's a cover. And, and that immediately broke it up. Now this, like I said, this is one fall to a finish. This is not elimination. So a little bit of urgency. I think oh. Boxy might have been going for the, bo the box cutter there. Yeah, breaks it up. A little bit of confusion. Oh, throw into a, into a little tag team maneuver there. And now it's down to Miami and Madame Luxuriant in the ring. Oh, big suplex. Boxy and Jenny are struggling to get back to their feet outside. Jenny makes her way back in. There's a cover that's immediately broken up. Oh, oh by the head. She's just got her hair. Is that legal? Oh, it's extreme rules. No holds barred. And tosses her aside. Jenny now having her eyes set on Miami. This could be bad. This could be bad. Boxy's right there. Oh no! Jenny Creek's got her up. Oh, oh my God! The psycho crusher? Yeah. <laughs> oh! I mean, we don't have a dictator. Psycho something. There's Jenny with the cover of Madam One. Two. Two, Two and a half. Ooh. That was a perfect opportunity for uh, Jenny Creek there. Now they're trying to crawl to safety. And now Boxy Brown has a cover on her. And Jenny Creed breaks it up. Oh, what a clothesline by the madam. The yeah, an something to Boxy. Because she's going for that choke slam. Jenny Creed countered. And tosses Boxy over the ropes and out of the ring. Oh, she's got her up though, the psycho crusher thing. <laughs> Oh, there's another Jenny cover. Jenny going for that cover. One, One two. two. Boxy's there Ooh. to break it up. Boxy. That was a, almost that was almost too late. And just walk, Miami just walks into Boxy's foot. And, and there's Miami. back out of the ring. ring. Poor girl. Oh. Cannot catch a break. Oh, no, no. I'm dragging Jenny to the center ring. Oh, a big elbow right to the back of the head. Oh, Boxy looking under the ring. What we is she might have, after? We might have our first... She takes out a sledgehammer and <laughs> throws it to the floor. I don't know what she's planning to do with that. I didn't know what the what, what the game plan was there, girl. Let's see as Jenny throws her to the corner. The corner. Madam are capitalizing on the situation. Oh, clothesline after clothesline! It drops to the floor. Miami back in, going after Boxy. Let's see if Miami can get some offense going here. Big crowd favor. The crowd likes what they see, but... She's got to get some big time offense going. There's a DDT! There's a big DDT. Boxy to one knee. Back to, brings Madam up back to her feet. Oh, she's what she's going for? Oh, the that's big tor tornado that, DDT. I don't know what she calls it, but it was a big move. Then throwing Boxy over the top rope. Box counters. Jumps back in. Oh, the, the big, big form arm. smash. Jenny's outside the ring. Madam's crawling to her feet. Boxy setting up something. Triangle choke. Elbows to the forehead. Oh, God. You get to hear him from up here. Boxy prepping for that box cutter. Never mind. Madam just doesn't want her to do anything. And now he's taking some aggression out of my eye. Oh, the oh. big jumping hurricanrana. The psycho crusher by Jenny Krieg. Jenny has the cover on Boxy. One. Oh, my goodness. Two. two three. three. 
And with no one to break it up, Jenny takes the win. <laughs> Little uh, lack of uh, lack of, lack of something, lack of uh, vision, lack like. of situational awareness. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking of. But Jenny Krieg, with a dominant performance, your new number one contender to the Dumb Wrestling Women's World Championship. She could potentially be the new women's champion. And what a force she would be if she becomes the champ. Bayami and Madame Luxuriant were far too concerned with their own rival me rivalry to break it up. And it ended up costing them the entire match. This is true. Hello again, sports entertainment fans, and welcome back to the Dumb Wrestling Arena here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we have uh, a a grudge match. I mean, yeah, uh, Robert Garcia. <laughs> no. The Mightiest Tiger is the best. The former Intercosbinental Champion. Like, uh, after losing that title two weeks ago to Mike Ross. Yeah. One could hope that uh, Robert is quite, got some fire in his eyes. And he better have that fire. Because here today we have what I think to be a long-standing grudge match between these two men. Robert Garcia and Aaron have some major history, especially yeah. in the, the Frengeance Rumble. That definitely. And Aaron has been re-given full reign of his arsenal. So we could uh, potentially see another choke out. It's, it's, it's a possibility, and here he comes. Here he comes sporting that dumbass, fake-ass belt. The He's not the world champion, folks. I can, I can assure you 100% of that. He just likes to think he is. But, uh, yeah, Aaron, both Aaron and Robert Garcia have made significant names for themselves here in Dumb Wrestling. Rumble aside. Yeah. Because Robert fighting with great intensity, integrity, and intelligence. Befitting the name, the Mightiest Tiger. That's a, that's, that's a Kurt Angle line. <laughs> and Aaron... No, obviously, pure power and dominance. And, yeah, I mean, Aaron hasn't won any titles, but he has racked up an impressive uh, win-loss record, especially utilizing that choke. Utilizing that moisture hand. Yeah. <laughs> As the belt phases through his jacket. <laughs> what a very sporty jacket he's wearing. Yeah. At the... Yeah, anyway. There's his dumb face. <laughs> There's old George George ringing the bell. There's the bell. Here we go. Here we go. And immediately with a big old hand to the face. And Robert counters with a jawbreaker. Robert resource Oh, and Aaron. Aaron's too big to use a jawbreaker. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And Robert counters. Oh, my. Oh, with a huge back or back the, drop thing. A huge German suplex from Robert Garcia. How could he pick up that huge man? And then he's, oh, he's throwing the kicks. He's throwing him the feet. Oh, my goodness. That looked like it shouldn't have ended that way, but it did, and that was really cool. <laughs> that leg drop in front of Oh, and there was Aaron. Oh, Aaron just using that strength, that power, that size advantage. Oh, and Aaron Cowher's leg. I mean, Robert Garcia has come very close to eliminating Aaron in the Rumble. But Aaron... Oh, Aaron is doing squats. Doing the squats. Showing the power! Oh. Robert lands with a thud. That would have taken quite a bit out of him. Oh, no, there's only just begun. There's a big leg drop. Aaron is now yelling at the crowd. Something Ill in inaudible. Clubby blow to the back. It's a knee. A tiger knee. <laughs> a tiger knee. Oh, big face buster. Bring him back to his feet. What's he going to do here? He's got him up. Scoops him up. Oh, and just tosses him over his head. Like some sort of sack of hay. Or pasta, as it were. Uh, excuse me. Nice. Pardon me. <laughs> There's a right hand from Aaron. Oh, got him under the legs. The electric chair. Oh, and that's... It looked like he was trying to get him to suck his dick for a second there. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, no. Is that what happens when you turn down a dick sucking? <laughs> You just get your head smashed against the floor. Aaron scooping up Robert on his shoulders. 
parading him around. Got him on the ropes. Oh, oh don't, like we said, a very commonly used move here in dumb wrestling. Fucking everybody loves. Oh no, oh, God! There's the the sweeping front slam. I don't know what he calls it. Uh oh, it's the ebony driver. Uh, he's not even full black. <laughs> Oh, but Robert, Robert was, returning punishment with, the, to with him. the takedown and the mounted punches. He's not done yet. Baron sweeping the leg, stomping Robert down, stomping him again. Bringing him up back to his feet. Scoop up, scoop, not scoop slam. Nope, Robert countered. Went for some sort of neck cutter maybe and got countered. Back up Aaron, on Aaron's shoulders. Aaron using the strength on oh, just. Picks him up and then just drops, drops him, him flat. Oh no! Oh, he's got the choke. He's got it in just he's like got that. It in. Come on, Robert! No. no! There it is. It's over. <laughs> nine. Nine, 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 nine. Uh. Aaron demanding his hand be raised after a. D oh, God. Uh, well, add another one to the list. Another one yet falls to the the wet grip of death. What is in those gloves? Notice that those gloves, there's a hole at the palm. Of course, he has to let that moisture come out. It's the source of his power. You know, there's your victor this week. It's Aaron. Uh. Taking down a very game Robert Garcia. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dumb Wrestling Arena here in St. Louis, Missouri. And it is time now for our main event in here in St. Louis. Yep. And the crowd on their feet for no for none other. Standing ovation for none other than the champion. Here the he world is. champion is here. Viper Nakajima making his way to the ring. Now, and we have not been told what he's here for. Now, the Commissioner Von Schmuff has said that Viper will compete here today, but he hasn't told us who it's going to be against. All we know is that next week at the unnamed Super Show, Viper will put that prestigious Dumb Wrestling World Championship on the line once again against the new number one contender, the winner of the number one contender's tournament and tag team partner of Viper's, AJ Sterling. That is fit to be a match to remember. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yep, the crowd on their feet in appreciation in respect to the world champion. But who's he going to face? Who is coming out to face him here? Well, oh, the crowd is rumbling. Who is it? Oh, oh my, no. Oh, my God. Is that? It's Lord Potato. It's Lord Potato. When was the last time we saw Lord Potato? We haven't seen him in, like, a couple months at least. That, let's see. Check. Let's rack my, let's rack in my memory here. The last time we saw Lord Potato was in a losing effort in a triple threat to determine who would fight for the Warfenheimer. Oh, that was a while back. We have not seen Lord Potato since. And he has gotten a... a I think we've seen this attire once before. I, I don't remember it too well. I've heard rumblings about it. But Lord Potato, if if going by ring attire alone, looks very ready and raring to compete. Viper's going to have one heck. There's the... Oh, no. oh there, there's the there's the look we all know and hate. Yep. And there's the bell. And... Oh, my oh, God! Starting off with a big hand. Oh, and Viper throwing a hand right back at... Right back and taking Lord Potato down. How hard was that? A little bit of an animation hiccup at the end there. Oh, oh God. God! Big donkey kick to the back. Lord Potato, a big powerhouse. Oh, I think he was going to go for a suplex. And oh, and Viper responds with a suplex of his own. Viper is not going to be intimidated by this man. He came here for one purpose, and that was to fight. Oh, there's a. Oh, oh, big backbreaker! Big backbreaker. A lot of weight crashing down on on Viper. Little rope. Little potato is. He's telling him to get up. He's what? on the on the apron. Viper oh, gets, gets down. He's, oh, he's, but there's he's a not in the proper position. He there's knocks a, him off the side. There's a straight right hand. Count of one. He's slamming his face into the chocolate. There's two. two. 
There's another backward. Oh, three. Three. Hopefully these men will pay attention to the count out. Yep. Viper stomping oh. away. Oh, Tato back to his feet. There's five. Right. Throws Viper back in the ring. Just throws him back in. Lord he Potato erupts to climb to his feet. Lord Potato insulting him. Not he's not the fastest individual in the world. Off the ropes. Oh, there's oh, a big boot. There's a big boot. Lord Potato, like I said, not the fastest in individual in the world, but looking at him, would you expect agility from that man? Definitely not. It swings him off the ropes. And Viper counter with a fireman's carry takedown. Has him by the head. Throws him off the ropes. Jared Clip, what's he gonna do? Oh, and a big back elbow. Big forearm for back elbow. There's a cover. One. One. How hard did he have to swing that elbow to take a massive man like Lord Potato down? With a mask. Oh. Putting torque on that neck. Lord Potato countered it. The Viper right back on the assault, throwing him back throwing over the ropes. Over the ropes to the apron. Lord Potato counters it, walks back in, climbing over that top rope. Viper a little days, but able to recover and throws, throws him, him back over throws the him rope. clear over the rope this time. Screw going to the apron. You're going right to the floor. Rolls him, exposing that back, placing his foot firmly in his ass. It's count of one. Oh, two. Bring him to the apron. Hope oh, Martel with the elbows countering. Oh, it throws Viper right into the stairs! Right to those steel steps, or those steel grass steps. <laughs> Yo, the, the hardest of nature. Counts at four. Or five. Viper with the neck breaker. Neck breaker. Six. Seven, I think. Maybe seven. Oh, no. Oh, the there we go. Throws him back. In right the back ring. into the apron. Or right back into the ring. Picks him up. Off his feet. Oh, my God! Look at, the look at the strength! Look at the strength of Viper! The power of this man! There's I the did power know. cutter! I did not think he could do that! Because Lord Potato, obviously a very, very large man. Drags him a little more to the center of the ring. And there's, there's the, the cover. cover! One, two! There's count two. Lord Potato in a little bit of disbelief there. And Lord Potato, a big powerhouse. I thought the cutter was enough. He did get all of it. There's a cover. Oh, wait! There it is! The final word! Out of nowhere! There's a cover! One! Two! Oh, my goodness. Lord Potato able to kick out at two and a half. Piper was fit to end that there and then. But it wasn't enough. He didn't, like, he just hit it. Just didn't even go for the prep. Just He just wanted it. Uh, wrestles Lord Potato to the ground. He's got it, that arm. Lord Potato still too powerful. Oh, oh, he's got a big power bomb. Oh my! Oh, oh my God! The, the force of that Viper slam. bouncing off the mat. And there's Lord there's Potato. His cover. One out of one. Out of one. Viper still has plenty left in the tank. He is a champion after all. He is the world champ for a reason. He has been a very fighting world champ. Oh my god. Oh, he's going no, for it again. No, my god. Again. Oh, god. <laughs> oh, Viper. I felt the shockwave from that from up here. V Viper very smartly rolling out of the ring, able to get a moment's reprieve, going for the backward. There's the cover. cover. One, two. Barely a two. One for a kick to the back. Lord Potato able to. Oh, there's a headbutt using the, the antlers, I think. Oh, tosses him aside. But how much did that take out of Lord Potato? Notice he fell to one knee after tossing Viper across the ring. The fatigue is definitely setting in. Oh, God! Oh. Big old chop to the head. A big old brain chop. Dragging him by his arms to the yeah. center ring. Him by his head. Oh, and there's oh. another. I think that was another brain chop right to the head. He's going after the head. You cut off the head of the snake and the body will quiver. Oh, the wither. The big gut wrench suplex. Viper's down. Lord Potato looks very tired. A man with that kind of mass oh, no. can't have a lot of stamina. He's got that look in his eye. 
He's going oh, for it. A tombstone, I think. Oh, oh God. He is. He drags him to the center of the ring. ring. There's it's the cover. cover. One, two. It's two and a half. It's not over it's yet. Lord Potato can't believe it. Lord Potato. Lord Lord Potato. Lord Potato is visibly upset. After two brain chops. He's rolling him with a neck hold. Oh, and there's like... Oh, I gotta check the hands, ref. Is that a choke or what? We got two brain chops and that sit-down tombstone pile driver. And Fife was still fit to go. There's an uppercut. Denies the neck cutter. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. That counter was huge. Speaking of huge counters, head. big back body drop. Brings back to his feet. Push to the face. Oh my god! There it is! Got him on the shoulder! No! Oh, Lord Potato saw it coming! And he picks Viper back up the other way! Oh. Power slam! Power slam. Oh, oh. that's a big right hand. Flips him over. Oh. Oh god, there's a backbreaker. Viper showing great resilience. Maybe he's just got to weather the storm a little bit more. Oh, no, he's got the look in his eye again. He's going for oh, it. He's got him up the tombstone. There it is. Oh, oh, oh and Viper's busted, busted open. open. There's the cover. There's the cover. One, two, two three. Wait, that was so close. I thought his, he would be close enough to the ropes for a break, but he wasn't. He kicked out on his own accord. And he fights off and fights off Lord Potato again. Oh, it's kind of on the head. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> that spin! I didn't know a human body could do that. Lord Potato showing the power, but how much stamina does this man have left? I need to start making a play soon. He's just starting to look really bleak. There's another backbreaker! He's avoided the... He's avoided the loss once. It's like we're going to the second rope. We don't see that too often. He's begging him to get up. Here there goes oh. double axe handle slam. Right to the top of the head. Oh, fuck, we're flipping, flipping off, off the, the crowd. crowd. He's definitely getting riled up. Because he just watches he his victim on the floor. You can only wonder what he's thinking now. The potato crawling to the ropes to help him get up. The blood clouding his vision. Looking like a deer in an, or a boar. A, some type of bull animal oh, in the China God. shop. There's the head brain buster again. There's the brain chop. There's a kick Kicks to the back. back. Picking Viper back up. Oh, oh. oh wait, Vi Viper, Viper counters! Viper into a Russian leg sweep. There's, There's the, the cover. cover. One, two. One, two. Out of two. Viper's got to hit something big here. He's got to get the upper hand. He's flying torque to that neck now. I thought he was going to start fighting out of it. Nope, that lock, that hold is locked in deep. He's got him by the head, bringing him back to his feet. Wait a minute, he's got him up he's on the shoulder somehow, some way. There the it is, the cutter. cutter. And Lord Potato lands with a thud. Viper making his way to the second rope. Showing off he is the guns to the crowd. Flaunting to the crowd. Could this be... No. Oh, He's wait a minute. Look. He's got the look. Lord Potato He's rising to his feet. Oh, oh, he misses. misses. He missed it. Is he going for it again? He oh. went for the stunner. Lord Potato countered it. He him off. Oh, my God. There's the jawbreaker. Oh. Oh, and a huge DDT. Back up to his feet. The chops. It's a big chop. Throwing him on the second rope. Draping him across the second rope. Oh. Viper tangled in the ropes and all that weight applied. Oh, he covers again. One, two. Two and a half. Two and a half. Things are looking bleak for the champ. Viper mistimed his fi the final word and went for the stunner. And all that also missed a big, oh, another big brain shot. Just of a bad situation, but... But Lord Potato still caught it. There's another cover. One, One two, two. Oh. oh my god! How resilient is the world champion? With inches away from the mat. 
Viper avoids the three count. And there's but Lord can Potato. he avoid this? Can he avoid a third tombstone? Oh no, no he's got it he's in! Got it in. Oh, oh, there it is. That could be it. And Viper spinning around like a top. <laughs> and there's the cover. One, <laughs> two. two. Oh, and he breaks out again! Viper's resilience knows no bounds. Look at the look at the blood. Look at his face. If we can get a good shot on that, look at the look at Viper's face. It is a crimson mask. Again, rolling his head around with that lock. It's got oh Viper trying to fight it. Potato walking around. Oh, there's a kick to the face. Viper fights him off once again. The entire upper half of his face is red. There's a backbreaker yet again. There's a spine, There's a spine buster. buster! There is life yet in the world champion! Dragging him by his feet. He's, He's going for the leg this time! He's a stomp to the get. Stomp. He's got him by the head, sits him up. Oh, puts him to one knee. Go for the DDT! Oh, oh no! Lord Potato oh, countered it. Counters it. Oh, he's got. Oh, with the choke! Oh, and just tosses him aside. Climb to the ropes. Now he's got he's Viper's got like. Oh God! He throws it down, smashing that knee to the mat. Oh, Viper counters the attempt to get him up. Oh, he's, he's looking for something. He's gonna prepare. I think he's prepared for oh, the stutter. The stutter. One, two. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's not over. I can't believe it. Both these men showing extreme. Oh, I think he went for a more. final word. He can't. Lord Potato countered. There's an elbow. Viper in the corner. Lord Potato throwing him to the floor, dragging him over oh, to the oh. corner with him. Oh no. That's a lot of weight. If that's what I think it is, oh, it is! Oh, it sits on square on his chest. I hope his ribs aren't broken from that one. At this rate, will Viper even make it to the Super Show next week? Oh, he's looking a little worse for the wear, but he's still fighting. Got him by the head. It, yep, it's a neck breaker. It's a neck breaker. Back up to his feet. Wrestles him to the wrestles him down to the mat. There's He's that, got arm, that arm again. But Lord Potato still has power. He's still fighting. But Viper's still fighting. Oh, that headbutt. Oh, snap my tag out. Oh. Now Lord Potato's busted open. Oh my god! How much longer can these men go on? Oh, he scoops. Oh, big scoop slams. Becoming a bloodbath. Oh, oh no. no! For the fourth time this match, could it ha Could he have it? He up. He's got it locked. There in. it is! Oh, oh, the tombstone. Oh, the sit no. down tombstone pile driver goes for the cover. Reach for that one. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh my god! That was such a good match, though. An incredible match. Oh. <laughs> Lord Potato Lord Potato showing incredible heart to defeat the champion in, in an incredibly hard fought win it was not easy my goodness um, um. I, I I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. I I I guess we'll see you next week.